In this web tutorial, we are going to create our very first c -sharp program. In most programming languages, the first program you write is what we call Hello World. It is simply a program that puts out to the screen, Hello World. All right, so we're going to start up Visual Studio. From my last web tutorial, I created a shortcut on my desktop. You can also go to your Start menu and find it that way. Okay, we come in here, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new Project. So we're going to go File, New, and we're going to have a project. Make sure you're on the Visual C Sharp, and normally we would have a Windows application, but for today only, and only this assignment, we're going to do a console application. You're going to come down here, and you're going to give it a meaningful name. As you can imagine, Console Application 1 is not a suitable name. Okay, the name and the solution become the same, and this is where it's going to store it on your computer. This will be very important later when you need to zip it up to send to me. So we're going to click OK. Okay, we come into Visual Studio, and you can see we still have our menu options that we had before. If you recall from the earlier web tutorial, the more we go to the right, the less we use them. So we're going to stay right here. Right here, you'll see the solutions Hello World, which you gave on the first screen. And here is the name of the console, Hello World. If you look here, you'll see a bunch of stuff that C Sharp includes automatically for us, and you don't need to know about it. And here, namespace Hello World is the name of our project. If you look down a little further, you'll see static void main. What this is, is like the lobby into a building. You go through the main door to start having the code execute. So this particular program has a main code, and that is where execution starts. This curly brace notes the beginning of the main routine. This curly brace marks the end of the main routine. So I'm going to go right in between the two of these curly braces and hit enter, and I'm going to type in some code. What we have here is console right line parentheses quote hello world quote parentheses in a semicolon. What we're basically saying is we run, want to write out to the console, we want to write a line, and whatever's between these two quotes is what's going to the user will see. So we'll see hello world. And this right here, this code, console read line, just gives us a blank line on the screen. Okay, if that is entered incorrectly, we are going to click on the start button, and if everything goes well, this code will execute. And look, a black screen pops up with the words hello world the same that we put here close that just say I made a mistake or better yet say I want to say hello world from prof C and just say I forget the semicolon let's try running this and see what happens we hit the start button and notice we get an error unfortunately most errors you can't ignore and have the code run so we are going to say no and you can see the red squiggle marks it's telling us it's expecting a semicolon so I'm going to go to the end hit the semicolon the red squiggles go away I hit the start button and look what I change within the quotes comes out to the screen I close this window I'm going to go to file save I'm going to do save all because that's always the safest thing to do. Then I'm going to do file, exit. And that is the conclusion of our very first C-sharp program. Congratulations, you did it.